The chainsaw chain attaches to and rotates around the guide bar. The guide bar is made of laminated steel and has a groove all the way around its edge that the chain fits into. It has a rotating sprocket on the tip that reduces friction as the chain curves around it. Guide bars will wear over time. The tip of the bar, just behind the sprocket, is a common wear spot. The metal will wear faster here, which can lead to the chain not lining up with the sprocket, causing it to jump off the bar. Dirt is the guide bar's enemy. When dirt gets between the chain and the bar, it acts like sandpaper, quickly wearing the chain groove wider. Replacing the guide bar is a repair that you can do yourself and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the brake cover from the saw. The cover is secured with the bar nuts. I'll go ahead and remove them. I'll also loosen the chain tension. With the cover removed, now I can remove the bar and chain. I'll loosen the chain from the bar and remove it. Then I can slide the bar off of the studs. Now install the new bar. I'll place the bar over the studs and push it back as far as it will go. Now I'll reinstall the chain. I want to make sure that the cutters are pointing back on the bottom portion of the bar. I'll place the chain around the sprocket and align it with the groove in the bar. I'll work it around the front sprocket on the bar and then pull the bar out so the chain comes tight. And I want to make sure that the chain aligns with the groove in the bottom of the bar. Now I'll reinstall the cover and loosely install the nuts. Now I need to tension the chain. I'll start by turning the chain adjuster to get the slack out of the chain. Then I'll test the chain by pulling it away from the bar. I want to be able to pull the chain away from the bar, but I shouldn't be able to pull the drive links away so there's a gap between the drive link and the bar. That's just a little bit loose. And that looks good. Now I'll make sure that I hold the tip of the bar up and tighten the bar nuts. And that's all it takes to replace the guide bar on your chainsaw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.